Hey guys, Catfice9 here, and as you can tell from the title of the video, I'm now going to show you the best way to get XP. Well, it's pretty biased, the best way. No one really knows the exact best way, but I'm going to say my best way, which I think is pretty effective at the moment to get XP. Now, I'm going to do it not as a general, I'm going to get rid of some of the gear, because some of the gear is too overpowered and it might sort of sway in one direction. So I'm just going to get the normal kit, like the private to large corporal type kit on, uh, not like to the sergeant type kit on, so as I was still sort of pissed off about them not adding Lance Corporal as a rank. But I'm going to get it on, now I'm going to show you where to go. Okay, I'm all set. Now you might be thinking, what, this ain't the private slash sergeant outfit? Well, the uniform doesn't really matter, and the scope doesn't really matter. It just improves my accuracy a little bit. It doesn't extend the the range of the bullet. This is indeed the first um, the first rifle that you can get and the budget on it besides the scope is zero XP. The same with all the other equipment that I've got like my s secondary weapon all that's just the, the, the zero experience needed and all this stuff is zero, zero experience like a med kit, the flare and also the torch. Now, if I had no budget, like experience budget slash boundary thing, I would have also brung my my grenade. The grenade is a cheap way, but really easy way to get experience. But in this place that we're going to go to, you can only use it once. This place is, of course, the docks slash naval base. Now, I'm going to get my... I'm not going to use a Humvee, but I'm going to use the first Jeep that you get. I'll show you a bit later. Yes, this Jeep would do nicely. Okay, just if you don't know where the dock is, everyone really knows where the dock is, but it's good to know single-handedly how to get to the dock. So, the entrance of the airbase. Here's the road. It's sort of bright out, so they can see it a bit better. Now, you come to this T section or this Y section or whatever. Now you come to here, then you choose this path. So that was the base, it came down the road, it came to the T-junction, then you come to this other fork in the road. Okay, the... You gotta go left twice, so it's left twice. Oh, what am I saying? It's one right and one left to get to the docks. But you, you get used to it enough you can also drive straight there okay by the looks of it I may have to take the base first I know it seems like someone's cleared the front here so we're gonna get our jeep into the barracks or the naval dock base outside yeah I should probably turn off the radio actually anyone around? this has got no protection okay but this you need to get to the docks this is my personal way of doing things now put the jeep right here beautiful just park it here I'm going to see how clear it is okay, I'm going to help this guy clear it out for a second be right back okay now that the base is cleared now what I want you to do is go to this place. You know where you parked your Jeep if you're following my instructions? <laughs> you come all the way here and this is your little hidey spot for the invasion or well, the first invasion now. You get down this spot pretty much makes you covered from all angles because Russian troops don't come through here but if you stand right here they will walk past you in the front area right here and shoot at you. Same with near that barracks section. So you'll be here. Oh, it sounds like the invasion started. Or maybe it's just someone shooting randomly. Okay, but this spot, because it's not been coward, 
the, it's shown and it's been proven by many like brave lives that have been lost that <laughs> like, the most dangerous part of the assault is the start so stand here wait for them to take position wait for them to stop moving and running around the place and then you start picking them off one by one and if you're alone like I'm not at the moment well by the invasion <laughs> they might take out a few but this is by far the easiest way to get XP I think the invasion starting but you see I'm using the Jeep I'm not using the Humvee to block it if you do have a Humvee that would be to good use but seeing that the budget is zero experience I decided to bring the Jeep out to show you that it can work with anything see here they come see the sergeant over there that helped me clear this base understands how dangerous this is this time okay and we should be safe from any shots coming that way because the Jeep is blocking it okay I'm going to take a little risk oh no there they are alright uh, we're gonna oh I got shot on the head it's because I didn't duck ow I as you guys might tell I think I jumped the gun you gotta wait in there till these guys pass you'll see them in a in a second but there's this bunch of group of troops that just walk in front yep there they are you gotta wait for them to go until you start to go but seems that these guys are pretty good well just that guy's pretty good he survived that whole thing okay now here comes your time to shine you just peek around once again the scope doesn't really limit how far the bullet goes it just makes it easier for me to pick them off so I thought there would be no real point okay, there's one over there. go admit with the other scope you probably won't be able to hit that far with that little time you just you will have taken your time a little longer with the other scope or optic if you reckon. Okay, there you go, start picking them off, you're getting some really good XP because the Russians do have well do give you um, 50 experience per kill so an army is saying <laughs> would be um, slow as smooth and smooth as fast so you just gotta really take your time only pick targets that you know you can get okay right, that one ah uh, no he walked you see he started walking so I'm not going to waste any more ammunition on that guy okay but usually the first place that you should slowly move to is over here to the base well to this tent area because here you can heal up and also take ammunition but you got to be wary of well you should be wary that also some Russians spawn at the front there and could kill you there we go see of the scope that he's got you probably won't be able to get units that that, that far away and also another thing to keep an eye out for is Oh, Russians are really grouped together because if you are lucky enough to have a machine gun oh, then you should really use it on big groups okay see I was close to death but seeing that I was so close to this I can fall back get some health and get this you see that took nothing that really took no experience just the scope to make it a bit better on you guys and make this video go a bit faster now also what these people probably don't know about is that sometimes Russians would come into these places these hangar areas where you can get some good XP now the reason why I didn't get even more XP than what I did 
is because those <laughs> those other players took it from me. But usually, oh commander, look at that. That uh, usually um you won't get that. Usually you don't get so many competition. Then the with the flag up, the Russians will be back in a matter of probably around a minute, you know, probably count down a minute and they'll be back in that time. And that's all that it took. <laughs> you guys can try this tactic out. I holy yet yeah, there we go, the Russians are back more prey to get down. So you just hold it out for a little bit. You don't die instantly here. <laughs> the Russians clear them all out. Now I'm not going to show you a second time because I'm pretty sure the first time was pretty successful I must say. I didn't die and I got a bit of XP. If you went into the city or into any of those zombie towns you wouldn't get nearly as much XP around here. They are way more targets than anywhere else in this game at the docks. The docks have got the most targets. Now if you don't know how to lean, to lean to your left it's Q, to lean to your right it's E. This would help with minimizing your signature. So if the bad guy starts shooting at you and you're leaning like this, they have a way lower percentage of hitting you if you just went like that. So leaning is pretty important in this thing. And also if you're wondering what, how did I get to the ground this low? You probably would know that C is to crouch, can't run, but C minimizes your once again signature. Now X, you click X and that is the most low that you can get. If you're getting shot at and there's no cover around you, you know, and you think you may die, just try X and it might give you an upper hand. It may give you enough of an upper hand to win that battle. And also leaning. This is basically like the the least amount of um like body you could give to the enemies to get you, so Okay, let's see if the guys actually, uh, I think they failed in defending the docks. Yep, they did, they died. Oh my god. Oh, you see that clump over there? You see that massive clump? That usually happens. One out of two times, that clump is there. And that is a massive XP giver. Okay, it seems like they're coming around. But... Yeah, if you're wanting XP fast, this is a great way of doing it, but this tactic should only be used by really seasoned first person shooters, because I reckon if you're first to the game, you might not be able to pull off um, good XP. You might die a few times before you get the real hang of it. So it's not for everyone, this tactic, but once you do get it, Man, you'll be getting XP like crazy, or EXP like crazy. Because you see, the star video that I made of gang stars, and to one day later, I'm already a general. I've got this Delta Force outfit back on. See, it's just good like that. Okay, Cafis, it's 9 out. 